name's Nicole, I'm a tea writer and educator, and I'm here to help you learn more about tea. I love making matcha, especially with a traditional whisk, but that's not always an option, whether you're just starting out and you find it intimidating or you're away from home. Um, I thought it would be fun to show some ways to make matcha that don't involve using a whisk. One of the easiest ways to make matcha is with a regular bottle of water. This is definitely one of my go-to methods, especially if I'm traveling, as you can almost always find a bottle of water. Um, a lot of matcha companies do make individual packets, so that's usually what I'll like to use in this instance, um, like these from Mizuba Tea Company. They come in this little pack that's almost like the size of a deck of cards, so it's really easy to just stick in your suitcase, so it just makes it even easier to make matcha when you're on the go. It can be a little tricky to get it into the bottle if you're not using an individual packet. In that case, a, fun, a small funnel might be helpful. I recommend taking a sip first to make sure that you have enough room to add your matcha. Once you have your matcha inside, just give it a good shake. You aren't limited to just fruit juice either. I really enjoy mixing matcha with fruit juices, orange juice, apple juice, um, even watermelon juice or coconut water also work really well. If you like to drink your matcha hot, that can be a little bit limiting because you're not able to shake a hot liquid safely. Luckily, the best solution is also extremely inexpensive. Um, a simple milk frother like this, just a handheld battery operated, do hickey. Um, you can get these at Ikea, the grocery store, all kinds of places for a very inexpensive price, but they work really well um, for making matcha as well as for frothing milk for lattes. So I've got my water about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For matcha, you want to make sure that your water's not too hot because that could increase the amount of bitterness that you're getting. Um, it's also very helpful to sift your matcha, so that's what I'm going to do here, um, just to help break up any clumps that there might be. So this part might be a little bit noisy, but you're just going to put your frother into the water. Um, you don't want to start it before you're inserting it in the water because that's going to make it splash. So you can then pour this into your cups for serving. Um, you can see I was even able to get a nice bit of froth on this. The handheld mixer does do a pretty good job of aerating the matcha. Um, and that also does help improve your taste as well. One thing to look out for is to make sure that the container you're mixing your matcha in is taller than it is wide. Wider bowls are just a lot harder to control when you're using a handheld mixer like that. So something like a traditional matcha bowl might not be very practical, um, but you can always use something like, this is just a measuring cup that I happen to have in my kitchen cabinet. Next up are blender bottles. These will often be sold for things like protein shakes where they kind of have a, a plastic or a metal ball inside and that will actually help your matcha be mixed into the water. Um, so this is also a great option if you're on the go. Um, I, this is Jason's from a long time ago. He never uses it so I steal it for matcha sometimes. Another option, this is probably one of my favorites when I have it accessible, is a cocktail shaker. This is great for making cold matcha. Um, you can shake it with the ice and really get it super, super cold, um, which I really like, especially in the summer. Um, you can also add other fun ingredients like mint leaves or other things um, to kind of spice up your matcha a little bit as well. Um, so you're just going to put ice with your water and your matcha give it a good shake, and then pour that into a cup. When I worked at Tivana, this was how we made all of our ice to-go cups of matcha. Let me know in the comments what your favorite way to make matcha without a whisk is. As always, I'd love to hear any other tea questions that you might have. Um, they might just inspire my next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.